everybody, one of Wee's here, 228 AM, July 28th, 2015. We got Miss Torch here in Know It All Island. Why did I come to Know It All Island? Well, quite simply, I need to show you what these horseshoes do. Uh, box stock, so you can kind of get a feel for that. Um, is it just me? I don't know if anyone else still plays Animal Crossing New Leaf. I've played that game every day, uh, for better or worse. But these butterflies and uh, Trap Team... They always remind me of the Emperor Butterfly, which I believe is worth 2,500 bills, and it's my favorite butterfly in the game. If anyone cares about butterfly, you don't know why I'm here. If you knew why I was here, you'd be like, hey, go have some fun showing those horseshoes off, man. But uh, there's a little bonus gameplay of, like, base upgraded torch, <laughs> I guess. Uh, for some reason, I like to push these into place. You know, before we uh, get too far. I don't know if I'm like the only one. I'm hoping I can lure this guy in. I don't think you can do it, but I guess we can just like cycle back in here maybe. Um, if I could just get one of them to come. But the gate's closed behind you, so I don't think we can. I'm trying to get that dude over there. Skylanders of the air element are stronger in this zone. Let's see here. All right. We could just get him over here. Hey, buddy. Come on. Careful, it's hot. All right. The gate hadn't shut yet, so we can still go through it. Where's the magic? Where's the magic marker of us getting locked up? If I could just hit that guy. Maximum okay. firepower. I think we're getting close to the point. Maybe it's the edge of the bridge. Oh, it just shut. Well, freaking it, you know. Okay, anyway. Well, hit the guy. There you can kind of see it. Right there. It like really slows him down. That's when the attacks do extra damage. That seems to stay on there a really long time, too. Okay. Let's get rid of these buzzer beaks. Right. I want to show this to you again. So we're going to hit him. Maybe. Apparently it's tough for a girl to throw a giant horseshoe at a moving target. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to do that. Luckily he dodged. Oh, and it killed him. So this was a waste of time. Well, it wasn't a waste of time. You got to see that. Sadly, we just we can't deal with Persephone here. But I wanted you to at least see that. I didn't really showcase it in the uh, base upgrade. I just kind of like explained to you what it would look like. Now you've seen it, and I felt like it was important to do that here because we're taking Torch down made of middle, and uh, I think everything's kind of built off of that. Or so at least you need to have like a. I don't know. It's like if I'm teaching you calculus now, I need you to, like, understand division first. Or something. I don't know. Anyway, yes we are. We're going to take Made of Metal. If you want to see Forged in Flames, check back. I'm going to take my custom painted Enchanted Torch down that path. So, uh, Regular Torch gets Made of Metal, which is a pretty cool path name, I must say. Um... If you took Made of Metal and you took the middle upgrade art, that could actually be like an album cover. Probably from the 80s, but uh, I think it would work. So let's go ahead and jump in here, see what we can't do. And what was that? That was the pointless cutscene, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that goes away in superchargers. That said, first upgrade here, you got Brawlers or whoever that is down there. Extra hot shoes. Flaming horseshoes stuck to enemies do additional damage over time. 1054 is the price. Keep in mind, I've got the 19 wing sapphires. I don't know if this is gonna like make them stick to the dummies here or just like register damage and you won't see it. Okay. Oh, it's actually gonna do it. Okay, so I think that was nine. Let's count again. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine instances of damage. Okay, so uh, I assume 15s might show up. Not sure. So the horseshoes are still doing the 100 to 150 on impact. And then 10 to 
15 nine times. That's essentially what Hot Shoes does. 10 to 15 nine times. Uh, you can't see the horseshoe, you'll just have to picture it. Take what I just showed you and imagine that horseshoe doing 10 to 15 damage to that guy. We should have actually killed him before I think the ninth instance, but you get the idea. Um, now the thing is, when we do that, our flamethrower should actually be putting out 123. So let's let it do like two or three instances of damage and then see if we do 123. Yes, yeah, so it still registers the same. I'm not going to denote that in the spreadsheet, but it's one of those perks you get from watching the video. So, uh, that is the pyro pendant effect. If you need clarification on that, check out her base upgrade video. Right here, here's our album art. It's called Firework Display. Flaming horseshoes will explode upon wearing off. Now, flaming horseshoes are essentially extra hot shoes that we just bought. So, now we should have 10 to 15 nine times followed by an explosion. So, we'll see if we still do 100 to 100. It would be nice if that... I know that's a pretty significant margin, but it would be nice if that initial impact would increase. But, uh, fireworks display, 1364 with our discount. Let's grab that. Alright, she sounds like Chilligan. But, uh... Oh, Quigley, you're killing us, bro. Uh... Five, nine. Oh, well, that's kind of a neat effect. So eighty. <laughs> um, horseshoes explode after. You know what? Instead of ninth, I'm gonna say final hit. And then it'll be 80 to 120. The reason I'm going to say final is let's say that that was like a garden variety enemy with 150 health, let's say. So throw one. Well, actually, if it was a critical on the horseshoe, it would detonate. But we'll say it was a standard hit of 100. And then 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. I'm thinking it would blow up right there and do the 80 to 120, but it looks like a pretty neat little effect there. Nothing like up in the sky or grand like I had pictured, but hey, it looks cool and I'll take it. So, um, final upgrade already on this path is Hopping Mad Horseshoes. Use a fire attack. I think all of her attacks are... <laughs> I guess aside from the secondary, uh, use a fire attack on a flaming horseshoe, <clears throat> and it comes to life attacking enemies. Sweet. Okay, let's uh, let's go for that. 1860. <clears throat> I'm assuming that might work here, even though the horseshoe is invisible. So. Hopping mad horseshoes, use a fire attack on a flaming horseshoe, which is what we get with extra hot shoes. Um. So we will, let's just toss it over here. And... There's that. I'm not seeing the horseshoe come to life. <laughs> just yet. Okay, so it doesn't happen after it. Let's toss one over here. Oh, something happened. Well, let's try to get it to where we can see it. Okay. Now we just have to get that to line up and hit an enemy. <laughs> Somehow. You know. Okay, so. Come on, girl. You got this. Hit the horseshoe. Okay, so this, this might take a little time. I believe, I believe. Oh, was that a three? I uh, now I can't. I think that had an explanation mark by it. That was a three hundred. That's nothing to laugh at. Okay, one seventy-two. That's standard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now let's try. I'm having a hard time getting the horseshoes. Let's just chuck one here. Ah, they're so hard to see. I want to do the flame whip here. Hmm. That didn't seem to register. 
Wiggly, get out of the way. So that's not seeming to hit for some reason. Let's try. It's so hard to line this up here. Okay, so I guess that's like not even registering. <laughs> Go figure. Maybe this will hit it. That was so close. So close. Maybe this will do it. Okay, we've missed by like 10 degrees on each side of that dummy. Anyway, scoring at home. Okay, I'm gonna stand here and try to angle 200. So. 200 to 300 is what I'm going to call that, uh, which is pretty cool. That said, I have not gotten the hair whip. Let's just come up somewhere out of the way and see if I can get the hair whip to do this. Because in theory, I would think that it should. It just doesn't seem to, like, pick it up. Um, let's try it. Let's try to get, like, a count here. So, okay, well, we, hmm, so that lasted a while, but it just like wigged out up there, just like, just like, yeah, you know what, I've hopped enough. Okay, did not anticipate that. <laughs> Jumping up. All I want to do is see like how long they will go. So we're gonna try to come way over here and hope that they will go straight. There's that. It would help if she didn't throw them as far, but that was about I'm gonna say like close to ten seconds. You know. Um Let's try it from here. That was about eight to nine, you know, something, I don't know, <laughs> eight-ish, ten-ish, something in there. Um, it's so hard to, like, see even the number of hops, but I think you're getting a decent feel for what that thing's capable of. Let's try to count the hops on this one. I think that was about nine hops that I counted there. I'm gonna try it from here with the flame whip and see if we can maybe get it. I tried to flame whip that in the air and it just didn't happen. So I'm not getting the flame whip to like register on that for some reason. I don't know if it would in story mode or battle. And it seems like if that horseshoe gets hung up and it's not on solid ground, I'm having trouble there as well. There it goes. Okay, yeah. that one hopped off at like 8 into the abyss there, but I think that's about as good as I can do here in the training grounds. But the main thing, we know 200 to 300, and that's pretty cool. Um, I'm curious if we hit an enemy. Like, say an enemy has it on, and then I hit him with the, you know, like, blazing bellows. Will that then horseshoe, like, hop off of them? Or a secondary horseshoe hop? I don't know. We're going to have to check that out. But main thing is she's got one more upgrade. And it is, of course, the most important upgrade. The Soul Gym 2480 is the price with our discount. Press X rapidly to create the ultimate flamethrower. I can handle that. Let's uh, get a feel for this one. This is, of course, the incinerator. Alright, so the gun looks the same. Uh, in the picture, it has like two barrels. I guess that's maybe if you go down the other path. We'll have to see. Or maybe it'll metamorphose, metamorphosize. Oh yeah. 158 to 237. Can I just do this? No. Can't do that one for forever, apparently. But who cares? It's pretty awesome. 158 to 237. I'll try to get a count on it now, so... Um... About 14 seconds or so. Let's try it again. Hey, is my hair on fire? 
Okay, I'm holding it that time and it worked. So if you hold X, there's our transition to blue. And that's about all that's going to happen. So you do have to definitely tap here at the beginning. So uh, 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi. About three to five seconds there to activate it, and let's see if I can get a count on it this time. I'm gonna go about 12 seconds, something like that. I'll put 10 to 12 second run time. So, pretty cool deal. It's a shame it's not a blue flame, though. Um, that's like, I guess, my only complaint. I don't understand, like, the transition. Uh, from that, I don't know, maybe it's just the mix or something we could do scientific. But uh, I think what I'm going to do with you here, let's head off to Chapter 2 real quick. And uh, see if we can't maybe get a feel for some of these horseshoe attacks a little better. So, bear with me here. This will just take a few seconds. Wow, I did not know we'd been doing this for 16 minutes. Time flies when you're blowing stuff up and, you know, fire escapading everything. All right, hey Buzz, I need to borrow your head for a second. <laughs> Research, you know. Shame you can't do that. Um, anyway, I still wonder, like superchargers, will there be a training grounds like this? Yeah. The E3 information I felt was, I don't know. I felt like it was more like the people there either didn't get answers and just like didn't bother to say like, hey guys, I tried, or uh, you know, they were like instructed, like you know, don't don't talk about this or something. Uh, I felt like it was more like, hey look, I'm at E3 and, you know, I'm not going to ask, ask any questions because look at my dinner. <laughs> you know, or something. I don't know. Maybe that's why I wasn't invited. I, maybe I asked too many questions. I don't know. But uh, I tell you what, I, I do try. So you, you can't fault me for that. The way I looked at it, man, that's like my one chance to like ask questions and get answers. And what sucks, I know with Trap Team they were like pretty tight-lipped, I guess they were like, you know, element of surprise and hype, and it was a pretty, I mean, revolutionary concept, you have to say, but with Swap Force, man, when I was there, the Vicarious Visions guys, they answer questions. <laughs> you know, like, I don't even know, there might be some things that like, PR or the brass wishes like wasn't discussed, but man, you could like, and you know they like they didn't like blow the whole thing, but like if you ask them a question like, hey, is there gonna be like a training ground? Because that's really not a spoiler. We've had training grounds before, and it's like you know they don't have to tell me exactly what it is, but like oh you can test your upgrades, man, you're gonna love this. Something like that, you know that's the type of answers you can get from them, and I just feel like the people that were there. Unless I, like, miss some videos or posts they make somewhere. Uh, just didn't, like, bring back any, like, answers. I want to see where that gate does close. Is it when I touch the last room? Yeah. It's about right there that it happens. But anyway. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. So he dies. So that's going to be a problem. Let's just get to these, uh, some of these trolls. See if we can get them. We might not be able to check it here. If not, I'll try to do it off camera and I'll get you. Or you can check it out yourself, whatever works for you. Alright, so I got a horseshoe. Come on, troll. You need it down here. Oh, I thought that was rolling the other way. Oh. There's that. Well, he died. I need someone with more health. <laughs> You've already got a horseshoe on your head. I guess it's a magnet. Hmm. I don't think the horseshoes are going to do that here. Let me just put it out that way. So I'm going to chuck this. Well, apparently she threw that off the screen. So, this is so difficult <laughs> to do what I'm trying to do. Okay. Oh, wow, that horseshoe just eradicated him. So now what I want to do, since we're in a chapter, we're going to chuck a horseshoe, and I want to do the flame whip. So apparently you can't use the hair for that. It's kind of sad. They should have just said, like, you know, hit it with your blazing bellow or something. But uh, anyway, jump slam. She can jump in the air and do this, which I guess that might come in handy. Let's see if it would register. You might could get some 
cheap shots that way. Uh, jump and horseshoe check, which is cool. That should get it, yeah. So that comes in very handy, the jump ability there. And then jump with the hair, you know it. So that's Miss Torch, fully upgraded down the made of metal. That's about as best as I guess I can showcase the hopping mad horseshoes to you, which... That's probably way more effort than anyone else puts into it. But uh, if you want to check it out, feel free. Um, I really think it's about, you know, the best we can do right there. So uh, the main thing, though, like I said, they do two to 300, and that's fantastic. I'm going to stand here and see if maybe we can see one. Oops. Help if I hit the right button, wouldn't it? So there's that. I heard it hit ten times, but we couldn't see it. It just moved too fast. But, uh, anyway, this is regular torch taken down made of metal. I think it's a decent path. I think I will personally enjoy Forged in Flames more. Granted, I haven't taken that one yet, but I'm about to. And it's probably going to be awesome. And if you'd like to see if it turns out to be awesome, uh, check out the playlist. You'll see that next video. You can also take the links top of the video description box. You can pick to go to one of Weezum.com or the Skylander Club forum. You will see Torch's base upgrades made of metal and forged in flames that we're about to check with Enchanted Torch. And uh, in addition to that, I will have my exclusive attack damage number spreadsheet there for you, so be on the lookout for that. But uh, that's it, Enchanted Torch. If you don't know who that is, check out my custom painted Skylander videos. And uh, we're going to take her down Forged in Flames. Stay tuned. Hope you're staying cool this hot, hot summer. And we will catch you back here for more with Torch.